Welcome to this new video. In this video, we will see how to get the last six months from the selected date in Power BI. So usually we used to get the last six months or three months in a card visual by using a measure, which will not be able to satisfy our need in a column chart or line chart. So in this video, we will do the last six months with respect to the stat column chart or, or the combo chart. So usually we used to write a measure by calculating the total sales or total profit with respect to dates and period or whatever months we need and we will take the start date as the, as the maximum date and just go previous by giving a negative number and then the, the month or year what we need to give we will use it to get the last six months or the last three months or the one year but it will be difficult for us to plot that in a combo chart or a column chart because when you select the column chart and when you keep the slicer for that column chart and when we select a month suppose when we select February and we need the last six months or if I select August and we need the last six months of this to be plotted in the chart. It won't be possible because when you select July, it will show only the end of July. It will filter only for the July month of that respective year. How we can create a chart based upon the last six months and we select July. If you select July, the last six months, that means from February to July, we need to plot it in this chart. How we can achieve that? We will see that in this video. So first of all, we need to understand about the modeling. So when we have a model, this model the order date is being related to orders table. And because of that, whatever filter we do with the order date column, the respective filtering will be applied to this order table. So first of all, we need to create a table which is not related to this order table. So what we can do is that we can create a new table. We can create a new table and we can give it a calendar temp equals to we can take the distance of the calendar and the column order date. So the distance values of this order date will be created as the new calendar term and you will be getting the order date. So if V has not been this term calendar, we are not going to join it with the order with the relationship, which is not going to be related to any of these days. So the advantage of that is whatever we do in this table is not going to get filtered in any of these. It is not going to get filtered in any of these two tables. So we will put that table in the slicer. We will create that order date in the slicer. And of course, we need only the date and we will use the hierarchy instead of date. We will take only year and month. So we got the value here. Now, if you select a table here and in this table, if you are selecting the calendar value that is not from this table, we are going to get the calendar from the related table of orders and we will get the month and day and then we will take the total sales and total profit. So we have these this much values in the table. And if you select any month from this slicer, nothing is being filtered in any of these tables because it is not related to any of these tables. This is what this is the first thing what we can do to get the last six months or the last three months in a plotting graph. Then we will select the slide stacked, I mean clustered column chart with the line chart. And here also we will plot the same. We will take the order date, we will take the year and the month, and we will take the sales, the y-axis and profit to line. But here the problem is we need only the last six months from the selected. And here we are getting the average, all the months we are getting in start. Same thing, we are getting the same thing in all the tables also. So we need to create a measure for that. So first of all, we will create a measure. So we will create it as last six months equals to so first we can create a variable for the selected date. So if the if we are not selecting any date, the date should be the last date. So we can select give it as max of date. The max of this date, this values which we have selected in the in the slicer. So it will be max of calendar temp and order date. And next we will create another value to get the first date because you are selecting Ju July. The first date should be July minus six, the first. So it should be start date equals to, you can give it as a date function itself, date, and we will give the year as year function itself, and we will sell, give the selected date year, and then we will give the month, selected date month. But here the problem is we need to give less than six months. And day, we have to give, if you give day, the problem is the selected date will be mostly if you select September, the selected date will be 30th September. 
2012 so you will get the results from 6 months before from the last date of the month so 6 months before means you will get from april 30th so the first graph will be very for the first day only for the first two days so but we need to get the entire details from that so you can simply write hard code it as one but if you are selecting the days then you can give the days now we are selecting the month so we can give the first day of the month so definitely it will be 01 itself so you can give it as one. now you can return and you can do the calculate function calculate total sales and we can give the we can give the filter function filter calendar table we can give that calendar itself now we are going to deal with everything with respect to the relationship calendar so calendar and the filter expression should be calendar order date it should be greater than or equal to the start date start date and it should be calendar order date should be less than or equals to the last date that means selected date so that is a function that is what we need so first we create the last date that will be the maximum date if you are selecting any month of this slicer that will be the last date so that will be the selected date starting date will be 6 months before that month so we have given minus 6 and day we have hard code of the value as 01 because that will be the first day of all the months so we have created the measure now we will put the measure in this chart of course we will remove this total sales and total profit and we will give it as last 6 months to this chart and we got actually last 7 months so we will minus it we will take the measure and we will subtract it just 5 so obviously we will be getting the 6 months yeah we will take it we will we have given it as 5 and now we got last 6 months and this last 6 months is from december 2012 to july 2012 that is the last day so we will try it and see from from july so when we selected here it is going from february to july the way we want we got it so if you want to match it with the date we can see okay july it was 24 and it is 24 and february it is 27 it is 27 so obviously we got the last 6 months we can do the same thing for the profit also because we if you want to make it as a combo chart with a line chart for profit you can do the same thing for the profit also you can go and just change this to profit it will work for you and select everything and you can copy it and we can create a new measure and we can paste it here and we will give it the name as profit and here Here we will give that as total profit, and then we will do the filtering as it was above. So this is the same for profit, and we will select this, and we will select the profit for the line, and we got the line. So the profit also we got for the last six months in the line chart, and uh, this we need to take it off. You can select the chart, and you can go to the uh, CTS labels, and you can turn it off. So here also, if you want. the same to be thing to be applied you can select it take off this total sales and profit and do the last month sales and last month profit here so we got the last 6 months of whichever one we sell we are selecting that same thing only we are going to get so now we got from october 2011 to march 2012 because march we have selected so the 6 months before the march month we are getting the sales as well as the profit so in this way we can show the last 6 months through charts hope this was an interesting video have a nice day